this is the hugel mound here. No, this is just a That's wood chips. Mound. The hugel mound is where you, you see all this, this sticks and branches that come from these trees. Uh huh. You don't burn them. You just stack them. And then you fill you you fill all of your weeds, your grass clippings, your leaves in that, mm -hmm. and it breaks down and it's this amazing sponge that saves water and it's nourishment for the rest of the. So that's amazing. It's a it's a German term, I believe, where they put back in the horse and buggy days they put their their manure they put their sticks in the in a pile they put the manure in the pile and they found out that, that they're so rich that you can grow anything in them that's amazing so this is this hugel mound is separating the grass field from the keeping the grass at bay mm -hmm. and it's it's given me these raised beds cool and as they age they just get more and more fertile so i let the mint that's a path but you can't see it because <laughs> i let the mint and the mustard go for, see all the native pollinators? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this is the pollinator paradise. Yeah, Eventually, I can see a lot of bees. I'm bringing out those and it'll be my herbs. So I've got echinacea, nice. yarrow, yeah. um, a lot of butterfly bushes, lipstick plant. This is asters. It's going to be blooming stunningly soon. This is a stinging nettle that's finished. Goldenrod, which is almost finished. But it's also um, edible, medicinal, or medicinal, and the the bees love it, Sweet. especially the natives. Well, honey bite bees do too. Nice. And you know, if you don't know, you can always Google Google. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, <laughs> goji artichoke and what else? A raisin tree. Oh, no, it hasn't produced yet. <laughs> Nettle, and this is a grafted plum, wild plum, and a peach. Holy cow. And then the common mellow is also edible. And the gophers don't seem to like it. And then a borage, which is finished. Mm -hmm. um, what is stinging nettle good for? Everything. Superfood. You gotta Google it. You won't even imagine. So you eat it twice. You eat it in the spring when it's brand new baby leaves. You just um, dry it and you can make tea out of it or you eat it fresh in the blender and you make a juice. Mm -hmm. You juice it and then in the fall, when it's gone to seed, this is gone to seed. You dry the seeds, and it's it's full of protein, and and it stops allergies. It's got curcumin. Mm -hmm. That word I can never pronounce. It's got that in it, and um, it, it, at all stages it has that. The entire plant's edible, but different parts of different seeds. Are That's cool. my little spider oh and a butterfly uh, loves this plant puts her cocoons on it it's Ooh, really pretty so it's a it's a it's a source a plant source for the um but these seeds this is a mature seed this is a baby seed that's just past the bloom stage mm -hmm. has a little white so when it's at this stage you don't eat the leaves you eat the leaves when it's young and tender before it goes to seed. Mm -hmm. You you juice the leaves, but when it gets to this stage, you just eat the seed. The, these so you're making me eat stinging fruit. nettle berries that don't sting because it's not the leaf. It's the seeds. And, and why am I eating it? What will it? It's what's the benefits? Food. And uh, it's one of the best superfoods you can find. It stops allergies. It's full of all kinds of minerals and vitamins. It, it cleanses your body. And um, it just gives you this mo a lot of energy. You don't like it. <laughs> You're not agreeing. You're not agreeing. No, I'm sure the benefits are there. <laughs> so here's the seed. <laughs> oh, you're terrible. Don't go listen to her. Kitty cat other tongue. Friends. Kitty cat tongue. My <laughs> other so I dry these. I add Some them. people do. No, no, no. <laughs> Whatever, weirdo. <laughs> no, you're the weird one. Everybody who's tried these loves them. You're the weird one. So, um, you dry these and you can eat them all winter long in your juicing or your um, cook with them. Yeah, or make tea out of it. Tea I could abide. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Okay, say so.